rider's basics and horse's basics. The next part was the advanced cues on the pattern. Remember we want three cues, a go cue, a rate cue, and a turn cue. And then when we're doing our slow work, that turn cue becomes a shaping cue. Our go cue should be as simple as giving them their head and leaning forward. Our rate cue should be just sitting deep in the saddle and asking them to rate off of our body. Some horses are going to require more. They may require a two-hand check for woe, for rate. They might, might require a one-hand check for rate. Um, some horses may require um, more for a go cue. They may, may require you smooching and kissing them, or maybe even pushing them with your legs to go, uh, depending on the individual horse, if they're a free runner or a rainy or push horse. So you have to know your horse. Um, secondly, after that, you want to work on your turn cue. And again, your turn cue should come from pinky and calf pressure, the lightest possible, and increase as you go. So I'm going to demonstrate Barrels right now just at a trot walk with her rating using my three cues, go, rate, and turn, and then my turn cue becoming a shape cue to keep her form in the turn. I'm always looking and riding to my arc, and then my spot one, the entrance, my spot two, the backside, then my spot three, the exit, and then looking up from my next pocket or barrel that I'm heading to. But never look at the barrel, always look at the pocket. If you have a free runner, just look four foot to the side of the barrel. If you have a push horse, look four feet to the side and four feet past the barrel. And ride them with your feet up into the hole. So here's my demonstration of the barrel. And lastly, remember, when you are um, leaving a barrel, you want to use your outside leg. And you also want to use your outside leg to keep your line straight from barrel to barrel. You do not want your horse's butt to swing. When you ask your horse for rate, they should rate straight. Their hips should not be to the outside. If it is, you need to get your horse moving off your legs better and keep your hip in. As I go around the barrel, I use more inside leg. My inside leg tells them to soften their shoulder and their rib cage. But generally, between the barrels, I'm going to use more outside leg to keep my line straight. And in the turns, I'm going to use more inside leg to keep my horse's shape and soften the rib and shoulder to the outside of the circle so I have a snappier turn. Remember, in order to be 1B, you only need two strides of rate before the barrel and only two strides around the barrel. It should take more than two strides to get around each barrel. And in order to get those snappy fluid turns, Do not run and compete any different than you practice. 
right for the horse that you're on and the style of you and your horse. You and your horse both have your own authentic style. It's not like anyone else's. And remember, when you find you and your horse's true authentic style, you'll be unbeatable and you'll be competing at your best. Well, let me say, maybe not unbeatable, but you'll be your best. Okay, thank you.